Well, the very cold conditions continue across most of the British Isles today and the end is in sight for many areas towards the end of the weekend. The high temperatures today were 7 degrees in Glenamoy in County Mayo in Ireland, 6 degrees in Holyhead and quite a few places getting to 5 today. And the low temperatures down to minus 12 in Lampeter in Wales and in double figures once again in the negatives in many other locations in mainly western areas of England. Looking through tonight, temperatures already at minus 5 degrees at, at 6pm with freeze warnings over loads of areas there, almost the entire country. Only the Scilly Isles don't have a freeze related warning. Looking at the next few hours then, there'll be sleet showers along the Irish sea coast and this big front moving in, leaving more prolonged snow showers to the western part of Scotland overnight. Temperatures in the clearer areas in the south though, down to minus 8 in the northwest of England and well into the minuses further south as well. A calm night further south too, <coughs> with cloud cover increasing in the north with those uh, precipitation mainly snow showers as it moves inland over central and northern Scotland. You can see it here with those temperatures really struggling in the central part of Scotland in those higher elevations. Uh, further south and on the islands it will be a little bit warmer into the positives uh, which will probably melt some of that snow. Uh, two or three degrees the high and in Ireland also around two or three degrees and they'll be looking at more sleet and possibly rain. Uh, in England though it stays very cold, some areas might not get above freezing. Once again under fairly clear skies as it was today, um, just a few clouds here and there and some uh, showers along the coasts of Wales that will probably be sleet or maybe rain uh, in some of those areas uh, as it moves through. Uh, only uh, not very persistent uh, precipitation there I should expect, uh, but there is that line that will be pushing in throughout the day. Uh, winds remain rather light even with that uh, front moving through in the north so uh, only a little bit breezy and uh, maximum wind gusts probably in the 20s. Coming into Friday into Saturday now and those temperatures really take a plunge again in England mainly down to minus 4 degrees and parts of Scotland but areas that get the uh, precipitation will probably not see much snow it will uh, mainly be uh, sleet into rain if you're in England but in Scotland it will be a lot of snow still up there as well falling as uh, rain and sleet right along the coastline but inland definitely looking at some more snow slightly warmer temperatures on saturday up to around three degrees under partly cloudy skies across scotland and down in england and wales as well you'll notice that it's a little bit less cold up to about four degrees and up to six degrees in southern ireland there under partly cloudy skies so it will probably feel quite decent compared to what we've seen recently precipitation hanging along the coastline that will fall as rain mainly in northern wales and in northern england and temperatures struggling still a little bit further east 2 degrees in say Lincolnshire up to Yorkshire and 3 degrees in London but in the southwest it's certainly getting a little bit warmer there on Saturday as the Atlantic uh, more temperate conditions start to be felt a little bit more um, no real winds uh, you'll see it'll be a bit breezy across either side of the uh, country uh, the mainly coastal areas but get more unsettled pattern with this Atlantic front moving in now coming into Monday morning another very cold night although it will be much more cloudy so the temperatures will be mitigated down to minus two and then on Monday look at all this really uh, heavy rainfall uh, creeping in through much of the country bringing in much milder conditions highs of 11 or 12 in Southern Ireland and on the other side of that front struggling to get above freezing in parts of northern Yorkshire and that might even turn to sleet and snow as well coming into Monday before that rain comes in off its back. But for now that is our UK and Ireland weather forecast another couple of really cold nights to come before things start to uh, get a little bit more average for the time of year and perhaps even more cold to come on the distant horizon. That's all for now though, we'll see you again soon.